Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Wednesday, October the 14th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have, you can use this email address. This is a link for the free room, 100% free. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our free trading room. Room is open Monday to Friday between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I share my screen live on the mic. In the email you're getting, you will see a link to my homepage. My homepage has a subscription link with a promo code. It has a link for the, all the daily webinars that we have, the trade of the week, and also uh, some instruction videos. So I want to go over um, a trade, CYCN from the AI. And the reason I want to, I want to go over it, a couple of reasons. First of all, because I, you know, it, it's still working quite well. It's a down 5%. This is, I'm in it actually 377. It actually came on my watch list also. I'm going to go over my watch list uh, a little bit later. But uh, came in at, uh, three seven, I came in at 377. The reason I want to talk about it a little bit is because you notice here that it exited at 369. It was a timed exit. So in this particular strategy, I guess there was a hold period of some sort. And so it timed out. But when you look at the exit at 369, there's really no reason. Here it is. It's hard. Maybe on a 15, it's hard to tell. But uh, down here, 369. No real reason to get out of the trade. Okay. So I'm still in this trade, and uh, you know I'm, I'm, you know, hoping that it gets into the 50s, even maybe down into the 40s. Uh, this, this stock had bad news. Even though, even though when I first read, uh, it said promising results. It's it's a bio, and it said it had uh, promising results. But evidently, the market did not think so because it's just been really hit hard. In fact, let me just um, get the symbol linking going. Just a second. And bring it back. Yeah, so this is down, I mean, 40, almost 50%. Uh, so again, if you read the headlines, you would have thought, oh man, this is going to uh, uh, rocket. But market, even though the headlines had promising results, market doesn't believe it. So um, that's why this had the huge, huge, huge turn down. We were watching this pre-market and then we get this and I'm still in this one. You know, I don't know where it's going to go, but uh, really, really no reason to get out of it uh, yet. And that's why I always say that, you know, the best way, in my opinion, to use the AI is you can look at the exits. That's sort of the machine giving you the, I'm oh, sorry, the exits, the entries. And then manage the exits on your own. You know, how is it trading? No reason to get out of something that's working just because an algorithm kicks in. Now, let's take a look at my watch list. It had a pretty spectacular start. Make sure I don't. There we go. So, there's NIO. Now, a word about NIO. Uh, NIO, L-I-E-P-E-V, a lot of the, the Chinese automakers. Had a huge, huge boost uh, this morning. Uh, JP Morgan, I'm almost oh, this morning. I, I actually, I guess it is because there's reaction pre market. That's that kind of pink area. Uh, basically, JC, JP Morgan was really bullish on the Chinese auto industry and specifically mentioned Nile with a uh, $40 price target. Again, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but uh, very bullish. So that really put a pop into Nile. Uh, and congratulations to Steve Gomez. Uh, that's his trade of the week. I think it was triggered around 22, so this has worked out really, really well. Of course, he didn't know JP Morgan was going to come out with that uh, big recommendation, but nonetheless, that has worked out very well. So let's take a look at what happened. 24.79, here that uh, time, and that's the first time it was alerted. 24.79, obviously an awesome trade. Uh, Eaton, 7.65, uh, another very nice uh, percentage move. You know, it, it, did, it did finally tail back, but it popped right back up. Interesting with this one is that they had a financing at $7. So it has really reacted well to the financing. A lot of times, of course, a company does a financing and the stock is below the financing price, but not in this particular case. Uh, there is LI, 2098. Now it hasn't maintained quite like uh, NEO did, but nonetheless, 2098, it got up to 20, almost a dollar. Don't think this one did. Uh, I think this had a, a yeah. This had a quick pop, 1090, and it popped all the way up to 1130 before it came back down. This was the crazy. I'll call it the crazy star. Uh, MDRR, very very low float. 
uh, the alert was at 370 and look what it did almost straight up remember at one point this candle was green right up here so from 370 all the way up to 616 it got halted a few times on the way up but uh, just a tremendous alert surf 979 this is actually one I took. I, I made just a little bit of money on it. I didn't get in at 9.79. I uh, wanted to wait for a 10 break, but uh, you know another one, 9.79, got up to 10.26. Waiting on this one, 3.97. Waiting on this one to see if it takes out this 4.07 later on. I don't, know, I don't think flux really moved. No, we moved down. I didn't really like this. This was actually on my watch list, but more predominantly uh, as a potential short. The theater. Uh, but it did have a pop, um, so 840, yeah, it did get up to 850. And then this one, 785, yeah, it's starting to move a little bit here. So all in all, the watch list did extremely well. And um, also on, on my watch list down, I had the CYCN right there at 379. Sorrento, I don't think, I think it moved down initially. Let's see. 1029 and it got down to 10 and don't know what happened on this one yeah not, nothing really anyway the vo the watch list i think performed extremely well today both on the upside and the downside okay i do want to get back into the room so if you have any questions for me and i should also i always forget to mention this if you want to follow my watch list from the toolbar click on new and then channel bar and then there's my watch list right there. Now remember, everything in here is a layout. You can only have one layout loaded at a time. So before you do anything in a channel bar, make sure you save your layout to the cloud. Okay, I want to go back, get rid of this chart. So if you have any questions for me, this is the uh, email address you can use. And I'll open the room tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.